Have you ever wondered what these guys do with that cool looking gadget? Mounted on a tripod, it is a theodolite used in the field to obtain precise angular measurements for triangulation. Triangulation, a technique for precise determination of a ship's or aircraft's position and the direction of roads or other under construction structures. It is based on plane geometry, which states that if one side and two angles of a triangle are known, the other two sides and angle can be calculated easily. With similar gadgets and knowledge of trigonometry, you can obtain values for distances and angles not measurable otherwise. Before proceeding with laws of sine and cosine, it is vital to review naming conventions of a triangle. So, here is a quick look. Since the time of famous Swiss mathematician Leonard Euler, it has been a tradition to use uppercase letters to mark the angles. The sides opposite the angles are marked in lowercase letters with the corresponding uppercase letter. For instance, angle C is marked in uppercase and the side opposite to it is marked in lowercase c. Naming conventions must be strictly followed to get correct results. The sine rule states that the sides of a triangle are proportional to the sines of the opposite angles. The law of sines is useful when you want to find a side length if two angles and another side is known, the angle size if an angle and two corresponding side lengths are known. The best way to start problems involving applications of the sine rule is to label the angles of the triangle. Label the corresponding sides and then use the most appropriate version of the sine rule. Here is real life application of sine law. Caleb has successfully jumped from 100 foot tall cliffs in the past. He wants to jump off this one too. He wondered how high it is before he takes the jump. Caleb is currently at point A and walks 45 feet in a straight line and finds a good vertical fall from where he can jump. By taking some measurements, like the angles and distances shown, can you help him find the height of the cliff? In triangle DBC, you have two angle measurements. You can apply trigonometry to find length BD, but you will need a side length. Length BC can be found using triangle ABC. Given that angle A is 100 degrees and angle ABC is 60 degrees, find angle C and the length of BC. Substitute the known values. Which two ratios shall you go with? A is the length BC and C is length AB. So right choice for calculation purposes will be a over the sine of 100 degrees equals 45 over the sine of 20 degrees. Calculate the values of sine 100 degrees and sine 20 degrees using a calculator. Make sure your calculator is set to degree measure. You have not yet got the height of the cliff. You are halfway through though. Triangle BDC is a right triangle. Since the ocean is perpendicular to the cliff, you can use cosine 30 degrees to find the height BD. The cliff is 112.3 feet high. Should he attempt to jump? The law of cosines states that the square of the length of any side of a triangle equals the sum of the squares of the length of the other sides minus twice their product multiplied by the cosine of their included angle. The law of cosines is useful when you want to find the third side if two sides and the angle between them is known. The angles if all three sides are known. The best way to start problems involving applications of the cosine rule is to label the angles of the triangle. Label the corresponding sides and then use the most appropriate version of the cosine rule. The law of cosines states that a squared equals b squared plus c squared minus 2bc times the cosine of angle A. Alternative forms are b squared equals c squared plus a squared minus 2ca times the cosine of angle B. c squared equals a squared plus b squared minus 2ab times the cosine of angle C. Here is real life application of cosine law. A farmer has a field in the shape of a triangle. 
The farmer has asked your class to build a fence for his farm. From vertex A, it is 327 meters to vertex B, and 624 meters to vertex C. The angle between the lines of sight to the vertices B and C is 93 degrees. Calculate how much fencing is needed to enclose the entire field. Using law of cosines, a squared equals B squared plus C squared minus 2BC times the cosine of angle A. Substitute the known values and solve for A. Your class will need to build 1,670 meters of fence. Two lighthouses are 10 miles apart. The operators in the lighthouses observe a ship approaching the shore. The lighthouse operators can measure the angle between the ship and the other lighthouse. Since the lighthouse operators are in radio communication and share their angular measurements, they can calculate the distance of the ship from the shore. Now that is cool, isn't it?